Now let's look at a very unusual and uh, an interesting uh, property which is called float. So let's say we have a paragraph tag. I'm gonna have a cat image. So within the cat image, let's have some. Gibberish content just to fill the space. Let's see how it looks in the page. It is a cat. Now, for the para, para is pretty much for text. Now, how para looks at this content is it is always text. Now, even this, it will just try to treat like a text meaning this line and that line is same but since cat is huge since this image is huge this whole thing is like a line for the para so first line is this for the para so this cat has been filled and then you get your text so that's why you have this like now but uh, let me try to reduce the size let's see if that makes any sense Height is 10 pixels. See the cat is here now. If the cat size was this, if the original size was this, then this is how you would see because it is just trying to consider and uh, treat this like a text. Let me just take that out and give a decent size to the cat. Okay, but the text itself appearing like this, it's not right. Let me add some more content. Yeah. So that's why there is a property called float. We have to think about it. The image is inside para and the image is not outside para and they're not siblings image is basically child of para here so i'm gonna say float is left meaning float the content so this content is floating whatever it is the text image or whatever it is the content is floating and then you get the text so para pretty much starts from here so this content is floating on the left side but inside para so that lets this element free, I mean move freely, but not uh, on top of this element. Now float is left. You could also do a float is right. See, or you could see it say a float is none, which is default behavior like this. Since I'm giving float left, I'll also give a margin of 20 pixels because there is no gap here. So it, this margin took everywhere. So let me just give a left margin. Yeah. Oh my God. Right. Okay. This looks nice now. Now we also saw what happens when we give none. And give with this 200 and the height is 200 so square elements now background color can be the red green and blue values see how it looks this is how it looks but this float itself actually disturbs content so 
let me disable this for a moment okay because this float what happens is it tries to float on the para but it doesn't has a control on the para because it is coming outside the para now let me give this para a border see this is the para size because that is text right but this is floating away from the para so that is why you see it overlap on the next element so that's why we call it as float it is floating okay so let me disable this image for a moment okay so you see div after div this is the usual behavior now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna say float is left when i say float is left the red is actually floating on the left so meaning the div 2 the second one when you when when there is a float what happens is the the place it occupies is actually freed so that is why the next element green has gone behind the red because this div this div which is occupying the red one is actually floating so when it is floating it's like the image is not there so that position is free now so that is why green went behind it but since this is floating this should this will be on the top i can show you if i reduce the size see the green is behind it so i gave float left to that and then float left to this okay so what happens is let me try to okay so whenever there is a float i think you will get confused with the blue one but okay but what i am saying is whenever there is a float this is a float and this is a float and the third one is not a float so whenever there is a float the element which comes after it if it has a float it will just move on to the next element but blue what happened with blue was since these two elements are floating blue would actually go into their position like how these two are not available now i could again show this by see there is a okay, let me also reduce the height See the blues behind and these two elements are actually floating but if you want everything to be next to each other that's when you could give float after the float so whenever you give a float that element will float on the left but the next element if it also has left float as left that will only go after the previous float element and then the next element so that is how these float elements work now now this is applicable even for the images even for image if you have let's let's try for the images now see what happens for the images for a moment let me disable this code already given float left see what happens when there is a change there's there's no change because again everything is being floated left like how the block elements happen but since it's an inline block one is after the next so that's the usual let's see what if i don't want something to float on the next okay so we have this cat and the text right what if i don't want some 
content not to be floated on the left or right or based on whatever property we are given okay so i think for this this should be fine So we have these three. We now know that the div one is going to be float on the left. Let me disable this div three. Okay, so we just have. Div one and two. Now I don't want the div two to be on its right. So what I could say is clear left. So this is float left. This is clear left. This says let me float on the left. This says clear anything on the left. That there shouldn't be anything on the left. So it won't. This element you can control. This element you can make sure that this element doesn't comes here. So you can do that. So that's what is the clear properties for. But clear property could also do float right, clear right. So now this. Let's see what happens if I take this out. So. When you take this out, this when when you do a float, right? Now this place, it's it's like empty, right? It is just floating, so it is not on the document flow. So that's why this goes to this place. But when you say that there is a element, the previous element which is floating, right? And you don't want to come on the right, uh, it's left side. So you say clear right. So that way you could go to the documents original position now there's something called clear both so what both does is no matter if it is on left or right it will clear the element and it will take the elements original position now if you think of this the the way you are horizontally bringing images or text you could also create menus you could create uh, sophisticated links all this is proper all this is very possible with these properties float and clear